Well, the money is starting to tick down. We saw immediately Harry and Francesca just make out. And then it, it sent the entire island into this ridiculous he said, she said, trying to put the blame game. And it's like, who cares? They made out. Harry and Francesca. It doesn't matter who initiated. It doesn't matter who leaned in first. It takes two to tango and they tangoed. So we saw most of this episode was people like Kells just being furious that this had happened and saying like, that kiss cost me 3,000 bucks. It cost me 3,000 bucks. It's like, we know they're going to lose money. We know that all season long, every episode, there's going to be people breaking the rules. It's inevitable. We even ended the episode with an intentional rule break by Francesca and Haley making out. And it's like they just want to cause chaos on the island now, which is kind of hilarious considering how furious Francesca and Haley were about what transpired with the first rules infraction. Uh, outside of that, we saw two couples start to form, uh, Sharon and Rhonda. They had made out on the first episode, and now they're, you know, they're respecting the rules. They're pushing it as far as they can, but still playing it cool. So I don't know how long they're going to be able to last without at least having a kiss. Uh, we also had Lana set up Chloe and David on a date where they just, I don't know, they couldn't stop talking about sex. And it's like, no, just have a normal conversation. You're on a date. You know you're not going to make out. You're not going to hook up. You're not having sex. Like, just talk to the person like a normal person. They just want to know, like, are you a one-night stand guy and, and all this and and Chloe's dipping her fingers in chocolate as erotically as she could. She's trying to get David to eat a strawberry out of her mouth and like get as close to kissing as they possibly can. And it's like, no, just come on. Just have a conversation. That's what Lana is trying to do. She's trying to get you to have a normal relationship with another human being. And I don't think the people on this island get that quite yet. But we, at least we have Kells and Matthew are uh, make-out cops, are sex cops. So they're there to try to spoil any fun anyone attempts to have. This is a weird show. This is a weird show. And I'm going to go watch episode three right now. See ya!